Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Something weird has happened. I dug up this dirt, but nothing's there. So never mind. Can I can you get over here? Not you, but will. I'm gonna use his ability to. I'm so glad his concentration is so high. Heading up. Trap. Delicious. Still breathing, despite everything. What can I say? I'm a moron. Please disarm this trap. And now, of course, we need to unlock it. We... We won't uh, success only on one, because it's automatic. Failure. Anything else? No, and there's no... Okay, there's no way forward. Let's do a quick rest. Can keep going a little longer now. Luckily, they can follow. Anything else? No, it seems to be all. What now? Don't waste a step. There's still nothing here. Hmm. Interesting. Ooh. Oh, another chesty. Sure, why not? Where is McLumpa? Yeah. Okay, and how can we get out of here? <laughs> I don't want to know. Can someone tell me how they all died here? Defender of the people. No. Get up there. Hmm. <sighs> Dismiss it. Uh, her target is blocked. Oh, a little help, please. I don't know how you died. Spell. Have you wondered what people will say when, when they find out the monster hunter is becoming a monster? I've faced countless perils and conquered them all. This will be no different. I've always had a soft oh, spot I for the confident ones. They always disappoint there. Take you. Close Don't you dare falling. Take you. That nearly ended me. I guess this is why they died. The gate. No, no, no. Yep. No. Let's wait here and go. 
but I'm not up for a swim. Go to the beach. Thank you. You all okay, you have all your stuff. Oh my goodness. And I still would like to go up here. Okay, first let's just remind you, I'm merely a spawn. It won't count. But if you want a true vampire, I'm happy to recommend one. Enough sitting around. Let's go hurt someone. Mm. Okay, let's leave it at that. And well, in it. Ooh, letter? Letter. A water damage letter imploring the recipient to be cautious around the far shore of Ebon Lake, as the Rega are rumored to be prowling in the area. Goodness, there's just lots of them. Hmm. What's that? I don't know. <laughs> Too loud, sun scum. Heard you stumbling. Can hear you blinking. Noise gets you eaten down here. Reckon I'll hush you before something hungry comes along. His gnarled fist grips an axe. Mm. I can be discreet. No need for bloodshed. Can he be persuaded? Okay. I'll give him guidance and bardic inspiration. Fine. I'll let you live. And spoil my hunt. And you're dead. Unfortunately, I have to kill you. What are you doing here? Told you, hunting. Slave ran away. Took Sergeant Thrin's boots. Gotta kill a slave and fetch back the leather. Or the bosses in Moonrise will have Thrin's hide. Maybe I could help. Help? You don't even know what you'd be up against. No. Slave's got herself some protection. Hiding up there in a Myconid circle. I don't know. Slave's got herself some protection. Hiding up there in a myconid circle. Can't get past those rock flowers. They get in your head, make you see things. Half my squad jumped off a cliff, laughing. I'll wait here. She'll make a run for it eventually. Then I'll get her. Let's switch to Evna. Because if you remember, we have those spore flasks. God damn it. Very Get up well. here. I assume it's Gex the talker, not me. Back off. No, no, no. Mm. Path is interrupted. How? That's not the ones. Is it? I think that are they flammable? Wait, then where is the thing that he gave me? Oh, he gave me that. 
Wits and blades always sharp. Oh, you scared me. I want you to get up there. Still alive. So that's progress. Because I want to do a couple of things. I want to shove Shadow Heart, you're really not helping. Forty percent. And you will. 50% What the hell? How am I surprised? He should be surprised! Oh, he's, he's just temporarily hostile, it's okay. But why am I surprised if I had initiated the attack? This I won't understand. I cannot hit all of them, but I can hit two of them. Oh it's, oh, it's Shadow Heart, okay. Damn it. Oh, it's a bonus action, right? Okay. If I don't have any idea what to do, I'll just do this. You don't say. This up to three meters. There was a chance. Wait. 
Can you jump down there? I don't want you to jump down there. Can I not throw it? Melee. Okay, heal yourself. That's an action. Okay, Shadow. And let's block this. God damn it. Cast it over here. What else? What else? What else? Go over here. And fight him. <laughs> oh, he's bloodless. Okay. Okay, I cannot block it like this. That is unfortunate. Oh, there was someone else. That hurt. Yes, you need to hold on. Wait, he's down. I don't know why. Uh, we cannot see it. <laughs> okay, heal yourself. <laughs> Silence. No, 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 no. I want to hide if possible. Really? Here, nope. Okay, go save Shadow Heart. I'm. Oops. Okay, I'm still alive. They will kill Will. That uh, I'm sure of. What the. There he is. <laughs> hmm? Oh, 
Try it would be an action, so just keep on running. Gods are watching me. to get away from the haste force. Cast it, cast it over there. It will get something, hopefully. Offhand attack and your normal attack because I'm going to your bite. Yeah. Sounds like fun. God damn it. Don't. Okay, he's up. has bonus action. Can you don't you have any potions? Yes you do. the hell <laughs> oh well I went to make some tea for myself so now I can go back to it can you not fly up here enough movement oh it's a shame it's really it's really a shame Of movement speed. Oh well, the only thing I can try to do. God damn it. Maybe I should split. Okay, he killed himself this time. So let's use this on Will this time. Before he dies, I will shoot him. God damn it. Go into the high spores. Really? Another day, another fight. Thank you. Now, run, my beautiful, run. Need to hide. Something he can't get there. Run this way. God damn it. You've got to be kidding me. And she's dead. Great, that's just fantastic. Um, uh, recast that on him. Out of sight, of course. 
kill yourself. God damn it. You were supposed to roll twice. Oh, there's Will. <laughs> An easy fix. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. no matter where I go, so I assume here I won't be visible. Um, no, not the strike. I'm gonna shoot him with acid resistant, everything resistant, basically. Running. He'll focus on. He'll focus on Will for now. How can he do that? And this is honest question. How can he target me when he can't see me? I cannot shoot. I don't have any more. <laughs> I can heal myself. Okay, hide again. You've got to be kidding me. Cut into the chase. Going to the spores. Drink another potion. So apparently this is what we do now. say that okay so Astarion will kill him now because he got too close and nope well God damn it. <sighs> don't Is dead. I mean, Astarian is dead. Just 
kill him already. I didn't want to use that. Yes! Thank you! say well we kill them help him you need a hand. we will resurrect our friends in a moment encumbered of course uh, give this to will as well. <laughs> Nothing. One piece of gold. Uh, oh, those two, they are named, so they have to have, has, have, to have something on them. But I really feel... How should I say it? I was lied to. The sports didn't kill them. The inside cover reads Barrow Warden Myrna. The pages are lined with neat calculations, equipment logs, ex and expedition notes. The final entry reads Expedition number 42. Back after a 10 day in the northern quadrant, two potential mining sites scouted, discovered a vein of Arandur. We also did a bank up job. Uh, organized shifts and led the first dig. Brother or not, he will but be a great bar warden one day. But he needs to keep his temper in check and practice reading the stone. He's as blind as a surfacer sometimes, planning to take him out later along the Ebon Lake to practice. In the underground city of Mantle de Rif lived a deep gnome called Sadie and her father Sam. Each morning the hard-working Sadie traveled to the nearby grotto, pick, up, pick in hand to mine gems. Each night the lazy Sam would count them and demand even more. You cannot rest until I am the richest man in all of the Faerun. One day Sadie encountered a stranger on her path home. A Hagard creature, grey of skin and small stature. Adero, exclaimed Sadie. Please, said Adero. I have no money and no home, I beg of you, a single ruby, so I may sell it for food. Sadie found pity in her heart and gave the beggar a ruby. She told her father about the Dero upon returning home. Do not believe his lies, warned Sam. Dero are selfish, demanded creatures. Give him no more, lest I cast you away. The Dero was waiting for Sadie the next day. Please give me ten rubies, so I might sell them for shelter. Sadie, moved by his plea, did as he asked and journeyed home where Sam rebuked her. An inferior hole, he said. This will not stand. On the third day, the Dero appeared in the grotto. A hundred rubies, please, so I might feed my brothers and sisters. The kind-hearted Sadie handed the beggar the entire sack of gems as he took it. There was a great flash of light. Where the beggar had stood was a massive gold dragon. You prove yourself generous of heart and spirit. Come to my lair and share in my golden hoard. Sadie eagerly accepted, joining the dragon in his opponent hideaway. One year later, Sadie passed a beggar near the grotto, her own father, Sam. Sadie, I have no money and no home, he said. I beg of you, a single ruby, so I might sell it for food. Sadie found no pity in heart and walked away. 
Okay. Probably there's... We can use their boat. Uh, but there's this whole area down here that we can still explore. There's something up here. I hope we can go now. Okay, but first, <laughs> let me go take a long rest. Yes, I need to s revive them. Oh, withers, withers, withers. Withers, oh, there you are. Something's on my mind. But this party does not have enough damage Fate output. spins along as it should. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? Well, I need to resurrect someone. Then thou must return with the proper payment. Resurrect all of my fallen companions. This is the price of balance. Oh, oh. give me a moment. I don't have enough on me. <laughs> I have two hundred on me. Okay. Um. They have no gold. Oh my goodness, we have no gold. Crap. 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 Um. I cannot leave the camp for now. I didn't have to. Can I sell you something? No. Um, okay, Weeders, uh, please resort to Astarion for now. Oh, actually. Uh, I know who. Well met. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like wait for camp. Yes, remain I'm here. Uh, Gale. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna sculpt Do my. Join me, please. Uh, I'm gonna sculpt my. Ah, uh, he doesn't have anything. Okay. To enjoy our conversation. Lee. I question the wisdom of that decision, but I'll be yep, here. Yep, 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 yep. Um, Azale, Lazel, I know you did, don't like them, but maybe you can pay for the resurrection. It is. I'm very efficient at taking their calls. Yep, wait for me. You. As you say. Carlock? Hey, soldier. Help. God, I really am effective at taking their gold. Aren't I? Okay, Withers, please be so kind to revive Astarion. Fate, dost thou require a new ally? Yeah, thou must return. This is the price of balance. Here's the gold. Well counted. By doom and dusk I strike thy name from the archives. Rise. A lot went to hell. Wait. Um, oh, we still have the scroll of Revify. This one. Uh, cast spell on her. No target. <sighs> okay, I'll Revify her. Oh, 
Of course she's out of the camp. Why no one thought of bringing her body here? I wonder. On my way. Okay. one I have food would you like it want bite go ahead eat Fella, hope he finds his way back. <sighs> okay, does someone want to talk with me? No, great. Let's resurrect Shadow Heart. Yeah, about that. Um, it's not not that I forgot to give you. Wait, uh, once per short rest, if you are below fifty percent hand take damage, you can. Yeah, yeah, it's not that important. And I'll give you one of the greater healing. Two of the greater healing, I'll be fine with the regular ones. And I'll give you that. You still don't have shoes. Does anyone of you have shoes to spare? Why is she. Why is she I guess it will. Okay, free to dip gnomes, but let's go over here first, I think. Yep. And allow me to check. Okay, report to Sovereign. There's still that part, which I don't want to visit yet. I still remember what we encountered there. Way. I'm just that might be worth a look. No. By the way, cast. Oh. With Carlock I also cast speaking with animals. Maybe that's why she approached the oh, little fella. Okay. I've got a long road ahead. Taste. Gold necklace. Oh, 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 gimme, gimme. Okay, let's check this first. Don't mind if I do. Okay, first. This crate, it's empty. Okay, now. It's kind of weird. Okay, never mind. Then the lucky light, lucky lit. Alright, by the way. This is a short sword. Which 
means you should uh, you should be able to use it instead of one of the daggers. Five eight. Oh, this one is better. Four nine, four seven, four nine. I was sure. I oh, okay, right. Um. Fine. Uh, she is using wool. Oh, I don't think she can use two weapons. No, she cannot. Okay. Now back up here. I want this necklace. I really want it. <laughs> then we'll go up here, perhaps, or f no. First, we'll go back to the Sovereign. I want to check what's happening north of the mushrooms. Okay. Greets you with a harrowing elegy, cheerless as the new moon. Dead worker are slain. The root has been purged. The music shifts, still melancholic, but now streaked with hope. Do you hear a new harmony? Serenity. I name you peace. Fragrant spores waft through the air. Your heart swells with bliss with your every breath. Freely you have given to us. Freely you may take. The Guardian Gate is open. Go and claim your reward. But before this, I have another boon to ask of you. You have cut out the Dwergar blight, but not its source. In your mind's eye, Spore shows you a drow striding among Myconid dead. Near. This one is called. He hunted us. Hunt him in turn. Bring me his head. And I will know my circle is safe. At this point, even if he is pulling my leg and the Myconids here are the intruders, I really want to side with him. Mm, there will be another reward for this, I hope. I ask a boon and will give one in return. The drow lurks in the ruins beyond the lake. Bring him death and return. Get it. Um. Oh. Through here. No, that that that's amazing. I was sure this is just a wall. Mating rituals, God damn it! I love this place. I see. Oh, you see, icy metal. We have this icy crystal. Can we? Com I want to combine it with. Oh, there's lots of things we needed. We have the icy metal, and we need icy something. I assume. Right now, I'm a little bit cold. No, those are bliss spores. Okay. Uh ooh. Shrouded in shadow. You sense the shadow of you sense the shadows that envelop this Dorcraft crowd. Eagerly waiting to envelop you and chill you from view. Let's give that to Astarion. No, that's not it. 
I don't know which is new. Uh, latest? The cover proudly announces this book to be Flumpf Mating Rituals. Recall what you know of this title. Because flams are awesome. We know everything about it. Under Dark Fauna is a topic much written on. But this title has never appeared in any collection you've seen. The scrutiny proves too much. The lurid text melts away before your eyes. An illusion. Aww. What remains are simple instructions written in a spare hand. The secret to forging adamantine. The pages, apparently copied from a master tome, describe the construction and use of a grand fort in the Underdark. Among the Sharans dwell the gnomes Silufiali, whose talents for wizardry are known from Candlekeep to Sorcerer. Under his tutelage, the Sharans built the Great Forge, which could hit Mithril with such vigor as to turn it to adamantine. With this astonishing metal, they could mold the finest blades and armor. Yet the jewel of Yali's eye was not the forge itself, but the protector he conjured from the magma to guard it, a construct said to be so mighty that no blade could fell it, and no spell could pierce it. Instructions for operating the Great Forge are listed underneath. Ingredients Raw mithril ore and a proper mold. Place the ore and mold into their respective chambers. Pull the lever to lower the hammer and prepare the ore for smelting. Open the valve to allow lava into the crucible and drop the hammer again to forge the product. That slobber chops druid who was noising around isn't just some tomb robbing adventurer type calls herself Hals, him, his self Halsin, ugly name for an ugly bastard. I had a little word or two with him before the Lashers put his hairy arse in the pants. Said he thinks there's something rotten inside us, inside me. Reckons he can help get rid of the rot. I told him we don't need any help from nobody. Never did. And especially not now, the Absolute's taken a shine to us. I says there will be something rotten inside him soon enough. There's a lot of rancid meat down in the pens, and when we cut him open, I'll make sure he stays alive long enough for the maggots to make a nest of him. Okay, Halsin, there's something we need to talk about. Anything of use? Mm, apparently. another way or was it what I want to see ah that was that okay let's go up here uh, down here not for the gnomes yet I mean okay how I want to go over here question mark I think up here Allow me to check it. Definitely not. Wait, where are you guys? This way, this way, this way. I don't mean you can get there. Okay, get up here. Yep, that's the correct way. That is the correct way. Is it? Yeah, but we need to go. Up here. We need to go up here. Chesty, chesty! Uh, by the way, I forgot to use that. Um Mm. 
Tarion, one for you. Yeah, no, but yeah, I'll give you transfusion. Okay, please, guys, step away. We desperately need gold now. Mm, okay. It is done. Ooh, light armor. Dark Mother, Weaver of Destiny, offer us a blessing to slay our foes, your foes. May they be strangled by the threads of fate and died red in your image. Loath be praised. By the way. And... Stealth plus one. I think it's fine. Uh, I believe you cannot be wearing... You are proficient with the armor, but there was something about her... Or not? Wait, where is your... Armor class 15? It's lower with her arm... with any armor. Cannot be wearing one. Oh well. At least things have stayed interesting. This empty. That is empty. Spider egg. Spider egg. Spider silk cocoon. Empty. Empty. Water. Chasm Creeper. What was that book? Um, an excerpt from a lengthy speech by Grand Matron Terey, first delivered in Menzo Baranza and recorded by a Salardine Selard spy. Praise be to Lolf, mother of old Row. Her web binds us, body and soul, and strangles the unworthy before they can draw breath. Those who stand before me have proven their worth. You shall educate all new converts to love laws using any means necessary. Many of them fear the goddess, as they should, but their faith is not yet true. Their minds are simple and should be treated accordingly. They must follow the order of every priestess like a sacred decree. They must never cover their eyes and insult love's gift. They must honor the house that frees them from their pathetic, treacherous origins. They must keep our secrets upon pain of death. Ensure that death is public, should the time ever come. Love smiles on those who are creative in matters of torture. Why am I in Okay, never mind. <laughs> like, why, why am I the one inspired? I'm not doing in pain, like, and I was like, wait, okay, I am doing in pain. I wonder if the gods are watching me. There's a way up here, okay. And I would like to save here because we are getting dangerously near the place which I would like to, would prefer to. Um, not get near to. By the way, you. Keep your distance, darling. There's something you can do right now. It's in a row? No. Discuss yourself as Drow. Okay, because I don't see that whether or not he can. Traps. How considerate. What kind of trap? Um. Okay, let's spread. Over here. Let's separate. 
Oh dear. Someone's left a trap out for us. The song. Oh. I did not see the difficulty. Oh, we need to roll 20. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Can you jump through? I'll just wait for it to go away. It probably won't. Okay, we just need to go through. I have no idea if being a troll will help me somehow. Let's have it. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is better. Because they are petrified. Okay. Pick the. Come on, come on, come on. I believe you can do the thing. There's something big over here. No, 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 go away. Hide. Oh. I don't quite understand. I probably. Ah, this is how we could get over there. There's still that place, that place. Yet I still have not... Uh, okay. Shall we? Believe we did not go over here. Great. Save again. And this is where I'm gonna end this part. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon.